Hey guys, I wanted to do a nail polish haul for you really quick. I've This is a nail polish that I picked up probably over the last month or so. Um, it's quite a bit of it, so I'll just go ahead and get right into it. Um, the first ones that I have are from Wet n Wild, and these I picked up a couple weeks ago when they had the 69 cent sale at, I think it was Walgreens. It was Walgreens or CVS, so 69 cents for Wet n Wild, um, Wild Shine polishes. And this one is called Sunny Side, it's number 405. And it's just a bright orange color. Uh, it's really pretty on your nails. I've tried this one already and I like it a lot. Uh, another one that I picked up is the 437F or Blazed. And this one's more of like a coral orange. It's coming up really orange on camera. But it's not. It's more of a pinky orange color. I don't know why it's coming up like that on there. Got that one. Um, some other ones that I got from Walgreens are from that brand uh, Sinful Colors. And you know what, I'm actually not sure if you can find these anywhere else. And I'm curious, uh, if you guys have seen these this brand anywhere else, uh, let me know because I'm curious if they sell it maybe at Target or Walmart or something like that. But I, I haven't seen it as of yet. But So um, like I said, I got these at Walgreens. And they're the Sinful Colors brand. And this one is called number 945. It's called Soulmate. It's just a bright pink. Not really bright, but it's like a muted, um, best way to describe it to me, like a muted watermelon. It's really pinky. These colors are coming out. Like, not how they really are <laughs> in real life. But I really like this one. It's very pretty. Um, another one I got is called... Uh, it's number 951. It's called Why Not. And it's just a bright blue. Uh, not a pale blue, but more like a bold, uh, true blue color. And this one I haven't tried yet. And then this one my friend gave me when I was in Florida. I guess she picked it up. She didn't like it, uh, so she gave it to me. And it's number 950, which is called Savage. And this is a, a teal color. I have something very similar to this uh, from Sally Hansen called uh, Fairy Teal, I believe. But I haven't tried this one yet either. Uh, and another one I got from Simple Colors is number 953. And this is probably the one that I'm most excited to try out of all these and it's called Unicorn. It's just a pale yellow color. It's coming up way brighter than it really is, but it's a very, very pale, light yellow, and I'm really loving yellow nails for spring and summer. I do have another one um, from Sally Hansen called, number. it's number 360, it's called Mellow Yellow. It's a really bright yellow, and this one I've already I've had um, for a while, and I've, I've put it on my nails at least a couple times since then, and I really like this, so excited about yellow nails um let's see one that I picked up from also from the drugstore is uh, I think this one was from Walgreens I just got this recently and I found when they first came out when I first read on, on a couple blogs I was looking everywhere for it and I couldn't find it and lo and behold I go on, on my lunch and I see the display with the Revlon's black with envy and what is it? Fashion's Night Pout Lipstick. And these are together on a in a display. And I finally found it. Really, I wanted this, but I was curious about this. It's supposed to be a dupe for Chanel's Black Pearl. And I already had this on my nails. Actually, it was in my last outfit of the day, probably right before this post. Um, or this uh, upload post? Upload? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> but it's in one of my outfit of the days I wore. And I was kind of on the fence. And I have seen Chanel's... Um, black pearl in real life. I don't own it, but I've seen it on someone's nails in real life. And this to me is, um, it is similar in the fact that it's a dark color with a, like a green glitter. And I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. There's a subtle green glitter in it. And I did wear this at night, so it just kind of looked really dark for me. And it's spring and I'm, I'm into bright colors right now. So I wasn't crazy about it. And then, um, it did look a lot prettier out the following day in the sunlight. But, um, I don't know, I just think uh, Chanel's Black Pearl is a lot prettier than this, and I, I don't know. It's, it's okay, but this is it. It's called Black with Envy, like I said. And I believe this is limited edition, um, as well as the lipstick. So that's, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Also, um, well, these I'm going to put to the end because I just got these new Sally Hansen ones recently. Um, so this one I got from Forever 21, and the only reason why I bought it was because I thought this bottle was so cute, the, the little leopard on top, and it's a little round bottle, um, it's really, really cute, I love it, and this one, 
Forever 21 polishes don't have, they're actually really good polishes, surprisingly. And I think they're only like 280 or 180, uh, something like that. And the name of the polish is actually only on the outside plastic packaging. So you don't know, you know, what the color is, but I believe, not that they're very creative because their colors are like blue, pink, and this one I think was light green, so it's not very creative at all. But it's just a very, very light, almost like yellow green with glitter. And again, I don't know if the camera's going to pick up the glitter, but um, I haven't I haven't tried this on yet. Um, but like I said, the only reason why I got it was because of these. I'd like to get more in this bottle and just have a whole bunch just because they look pretty out. I don't know. Um, another one that I got from my store, this I got when I was in Florida from Charlotte Russe. And I never go in Charlotte Russe. My friend was shopping and I was, you know, in there with her. And these, they had these at the checkout and I had to get one. It's this little adorable round bottle. Isn't that so cute? And it says Charlotte Russe on the outside. And this is called Neon Yellow. Nothing crazy. It's 350. It's a super, super bright neon yellow. I cannot wait to try this when I get a little more tan. It's really adorable. I just thought it was so cute. Very, very cute. Like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see, let's see. This one I picked up recently from Sally's. And it's from the Finger Paints brand. And it's called... Tiffany and Poster, and I actually um, looked at this side by side with um, China Glazes for Audrey, which is supposed to be like you know like a Tiffany blue color, and they are extremely extremely similar. Um, so I, I thought, and I don't own it, so I thought maybe you know this would be a dupe for that. And this is actually what I have on my nails right now, um, and I have the crackle over it, which I'll talk to you guys about in a minute, but. Um, it's okay, I'm not like I'm not super crazy about it, but it's a pretty greeny, pinky, greeny, pinky, greeny, blue, like, um, I don't know, I'm like off today with trying to describe stuff, but it is, it is a, it is, um, a very good dupe for China Glaze for Audrey, it's like a Tiffany blue color. Uh, speaking of China Glaze, this one I just got, um, it's called Electric Pineapple, it's from their summer collection, I believe, spring or summer collection. And it's just like a greenish, yellowish polish. Um, you would think it'd be more yellow, seeing how it's called electric pineapple, but it's it's actually more of a green yellow. Um, I want to try. I did just you know swatch it in the store and put it above or over another nail color that I had, but I'm excited to see how that's gonna look all over my nails. Okay, um, these last two I'm in, completely in love with, and they are from the Sally Hansen Insta Dry line. And this one is called Jade Jump, and it's just a light, like, not necessarily a minty green. It is a more green, like a mint green, uh, but I really like this. But what I like about these is the formula. It does, I just want to say a couple things about it. It does have a huge, wide, like, square brush. Look at that brush. It's huge. I'm going to try it out without spilling any on myself. And the actual brush itself is so big. And I do really like that because compared, if you look, compared to my pinky, it's pretty much the size of that nail. And for all my other nails, it's just about two swipes. And um, it, it goes on really nicely. And I really like it. And I like the formula. And it does really dry fast. So, in love. This one is called Blue Away. And it's such a pretty blue color. And I'm obsessing over these blues lately. You see how many blues and greens I have out of all these polishes. I just, I love it. It's so pretty. Uh, I would really recommend getting this if you don't, um, it's not necessarily like, a, I know Borrowed and Blue is a very popular color, I know it's limited edition. Um, it's not as light or as white of a blue as that, but it's a very pretty bright light blue. I, I would definitely, if you're into that, uh, or if you want to try that trend, I would definitely um, go out and get this. And so more from Sally Hansen, I'm going to give you a little bit of background information on this whole Crackle thing for me or my journey with Crackle. Um, and when I started looking at YouTube videos in September and October of last year, I saw a lot of videos for the Barium Salon, or Barium Nail Effects, which is in the, was in the UK only, and I was completely obsessed. I thought it was the coolest thing ever, and it was a black crackle polish. So I got it on eBay. I think it was like $12, maybe more was tripping. I don't know. It was insane. So I bought it, and it this is what it looks like. It's called the Barium Nail Effects. And like I said, I was completely obsessed with it. I crackled everything. Like every color you could think of, I crackled with this. Now, 
that was in October. So then fast forward to January, February I believe it was, when China Glaze came out with their, um, I don't even know what they're called anymore, there's so many now, uh, and I have all of them. They, I don't know where they are, they're in my drawer, but they came out with their colored crackle line. They had the black and the white and all the purple, pink, all those. So I got every, all of them, sans, black, and crackled everything again. So I tried all these different color combinations and I really liked it. And then I just, it kind of like fizzled out for me. And then all of a sudden, you know, like OPI was coming out with Black Shatter. And then um, with their new Pirates of the Caribbean collection, they came out with the Silver Shatter. Now, the idea of like a glittery shatter was kind of, I, I was intrigued by it. However, I didn't think it went really well with the colors that were in the collection. They're very pale, muted, um, like dusty colors in that collection. And I didn't... I just felt like you should have more, I didn't like the way it looked, just have more of a contrast uh, with the Silver Shatter. That said, um, so I didn't get it, basically. Then I'm in the store, the same day that I picked up the Black with Envy and the, and the lipstick, and I see, and I had just read on uh, Nouveau Cheap's blog that day that Sally Hansen was coming out with Crackle Polishes, what they call, what she's calling Crackle Overcoat. So I'm in the store, here is gold and silver crackle and I couldn't help myself and I picked it up again and as I'm in the whole I'm over crackling thing I bought these anyways now these are $6.99 at Walgreens just kind of a lot um I don't know especially for something you're not really excited about but so I bought it anyway um the silver one is called fractured foil and it's just a silver crackle polish um and then I got the gold which is antiqued gold and it looks like this and this one I have on my nails now, and I have this over the Tiffany's Impostors. Now, I wanted to do it over a light color because, I don't know, I thought maybe OPI was onto something and I, I was not catching on. Who knows? So I, this is what I have on my nails now. It's the this color, like I said, and then the Ant Crackle Overcoat Antique Gold over it. And this is what it looks like. Let's see if it picks up on there. And I still feel the same way. I feel like it's not enough of a contrast um, to really pick it up. I don't know. I, if you're up close, you can see the crackle, but I feel from far away, it just kind of looks like your nail's chipping or there's something wrong with your nail. I, I don't know. I just, I'm not crazy about it. And especially not all over, maybe just on one nail, but not on all 10 nails. And I, I hope it's picking it up because I can't really, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see what you guys can see but that's it also I'm not crazy about the formula um, at all I feel like the brush is too small it doesn't catch enough of the product on the brush to really I don't know to really be able to put it on and it's kind of like goopy a little bit I don't know I'm just not it's kind of a miss for me so I don't know if you want if you haven't tried the crackle thing and, and you don't want to spend eight dollars which I guess you're only saving a dollar by buying this and I don't I haven't had the OPI shatter so I don't I don't know the silver shatter but um, yeah if you want to try it Stanley Hansen has and they have tons of colors they have red blue pink um, I can't remember there was a, there was a lot of them um, in addition to these two so yeah that is it. That is enough of my rant slash ramble of my whole uh, crackle polish thing. But that is all. Um, it's quite a bit of nail polish. And little Rita, fun fact, for some reason when I buy new polishes, let's say it's that same day I'm changing my polish, I won't wear the new polish. I don't know why. I have this thing where if I bought a new polish, in my head I have to go to my collection and get an old polish or maybe something that I've bought previously and never tried and put that on before I can put on a new polish that I just bought. I don't know if there's any like psych majors out there or psychologists you can let me know what that's about but um, so that's probably why I haven't tried a lot of these yet but that is it. Uh, if you have any questions leave them down below and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys!